welcome back. So in this lecture, we are actually going to get the screen switching working. Now that we have our animations, our code all working, we have the screen set up, we can actually start to see our UI system in action. We can actually start to go back and forth between screens. Everything's going to fade in and out. All right. So let's jump over to Unity and get going. All right, so here's where we left off in the last lecture. So what I want to do is just test out our screen switching and see what happens, OK? So in order to make this work, whenever we click this button, so let me actually navigate to the button here. So that's in the No Account panel. And we should actually rename that. So I'm going to call this the Sign Up button, just so it's clear. And I hate it when I do that. So super nitpicky, but I'm going to do that anyways. anyways. So now we have the button selected over here, and you'll notice that we have an event, a Unity event, just like the events that we've added to all of our scripts. So what we can do with these Unity events is we can add a new listener, okay? So this, whatever we assign to this object here, will be listening for this particular on-click event. So when we click this button, what we can do is now we can drag the UI group, which has the UI system on it, select the UI system switch screens method. And you'll notice now we have the option to sign a screen that we want to switch to. And that's because we, if we go back to our code, we put in an argument for our switch screen method. So it's expecting a screen. So let's go back to Unity over here. <coughs> Excuse me. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag in the register screen, like so. So with that, we should be able to switch screens. Let's actually take a look and see what happens. So I'm going to hit uh, play. You'll notice that we get the fade in. Nice. So we fade it in, but our screen is off. That's weird. We can't see our screen. And that's because our animator for our login screen is set to idle. We never actually tell on start. We never tell the UI system to start whatever screen we want to start up first. So basically, these screens are just waiting for someone to tell them to show them, if that makes any sense. So we actually need to add one more thing to our UI system. So let's go back to our UI system over here. We actually need, so a new header. So I'm going to create a new header here called uh, main properties. All right. What we need is a way to say, hey, this is the start screen. So start this particular screen when the UI system starts. So I need to say public. IP UI screen, okay. Uh, we'll call this M start screen. All right, so now what we can do is we can say, okay, when the UI system starts, what screen do we want to launch first? Which screen do we want to take from idle to show first? And that is going to be the login screen in this case. But you can see how modular that is. Now we could set it to whatever. I could set it to the register screen if I wanted to but the login screen is the first in this particular UI flow. Okay, <clears throat> so now what we need to do is go back to our script over here. So when the, the game starts, or when the, the app starts, or this UI system starts, we're gonna say if uh, m start screen, okay? We'll do this before the fade in, because we want the, the screen to be on, or fading in also, or doing whatever animation before we fade in. So it's a nice smooth transition, OK? We're going to say switch screen, so we can use that method again. And we can say m start screen. Simple as that. We didn't really have to do a lot at all, OK? So now let's see if that actually worked for us. So we're going to go to scene here. And we can actually watch it. Watch the animator as well. So I'm going to leave these both up. So I have the game view and the animator running. All right, so there's one more thing that we actually have to do here. So we switch screens. We started it, but we're never telling the screens to start because we never uncommented our code. OK, so we just need to do that. And there is no close on the screen. It's actually close screen. OK, so let's go back to Unity, see if that completes everything. So I'm going to hit play. And oh, now we have another uh, issue. OK. So this is caused because these animations are set to loop. And I don't want that. So the show doesn't need to loop. And the hide doesn't need to loop. 
Okay. So now that we've turned those off, let's hit play again. Bam. Now we have a nice smooth transition inwards. So we fade in and now we're waiting to switch to the screen. So let's go back to that button. Okay. So again, let's do a quick review. So when we click this sign up button right here, okay, what we want to do is we want to switch to <clears throat> the register screen. All right. So let's, let's see if that all works because we have it all hooked up. Okay. So let's hit play. We'll fade in. Now we're on show and now I'm going to hit the sign up button. And we'll take a look at the register and that is never actually getting called. So uh, the reason for that is because the register screen is actually off when this whole thing starts. All right. So it doesn't give it enough time for the animator to initialize. You'll notice now if I were to turn this screen on, okay, and we start this, we'll get that same effect where we go to the login screen first, right? And then we hit sign up and now we actually have the sign up. Well, that's cool. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that all the screens are on when we start. So last thing to fix in our UI system over here. Okay. So uh, what I want to do is in start over here, what we want to do is initialize all the screens. So we should just make another method uh, for that. So I'm going to call this initialize screens. Simple as that it makes it nice and clear. All right. So I'm going to save that and let's just put that, well, let's just put it at the bottom. How about that for now? It's not really super important right now. All right. So we'll put that at the bottom. So then we'll say, um, for each var screen in screens, <clears throat> excuse me, like so, we'll just say screen dot game object dot set active to true. Boom. So now it'll turn all the screens on and then we start the whole process. Okay. So let's check that out now. So to test this, I'm going to, I have the register screen turned off. So let's see if that worked for us. Boom. Boom. There we go. So now we can have, we can leave screens on and off and uh, it doesn't affect it. So now we have the uh, basic screen switching set up. So for the back button, uh, we can actually set up the previous method. So we can utilize this whole go to previous method, go to previous screen method right here. Okay. So if we go to the register screen and go to the back button on when we click that, so in, in its on click event, I want to tell the UI system to switch the screen to the login screen, or actually we can just go to previous screen because when we switch screens, we are automatically setting the previous screen. So now we should have the login screen as the previous screen. Okay. So let's test this all out again. There we go. We got log up, log in, sorry, and then sign up, but we want to go back and we go back to the login. There we go. We can go back to sign up. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now we have a modular UI system set up. So you can literally reuse this amongst all your projects. And if you wanted to add anything else on to it, you can easily extend all of these particular um, assets. So for animations, you create an override for code. You would just extend the UI screen. Okay. You don't really need to do anything with the UI system unless you really wanted to. You extend those, obviously you make your own art. So what we have now is a fully reusable UI system inside of unity 2017.